Good afternoon, church family. This is our second installment of After the Sermon. And uh, we've been going through our Christmas series called The Greatest Gift. Uh, this past Sunday, we looked at the Savior given. If you remember the Sunday before that, it was the Savior promised. Uh, this Sunday, we are looking at uh, the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and we are, we're looking back at God's perfect plan for the birth of Jesus. We're looking at God's um, perfect plan for Joseph and Mary. And then we are looking at God's perfect plan to give. Our God is a giver. And so his children, likewise, uh, should be givers as well. Um, and I just wanted to highlight a couple things from Sunday just to encourage you this week. Um, thanks for welcoming us into your home as we get to uh, just spend some time together refreshing what Sunday morning was. Um, as we were looking at God's perfect plan for the birth of Jesus, one of the points that we hit on uh, was that Jesus' birth wasn't just prophesied in the Old Testament alone, but also that he would be the anointed one, the one that would have the promised Holy Spirit on his life and has, as children of God, um, we should be living a life that's controlled by the Holy Spirit as well. Uh, we want to be living life by the Spirit and not be controlled by our flesh any longer. Uh, we also look through um, just God's perfect plan for Joseph and Mary. Uh, what, a, what an amazing fact that, that all of their plans went up in flames, I'm sure, for their future marriage. And yet God had bigger plans for them. And uh, they no doubt grew in their faith and their trust in the Lord as a young married couple. Um, but just to see how they trusted the Lord um, through this time in their life as well. We were encouraged uh, by Jesus, Emmanuel, that he is God with us. Um, that God, we are looking at the future promises, uh, even as believers now, that, that God will never leave us nor forsake us. Matthew 28, 20 says, God will be with us to the very end of the age. And uh, those are promises from our Heavenly Father. Uh, we looked again that God is sovereign. He is immutable. That means He will never change. And uh, we were encouraged by that. One of the things I wanted to read from one of the commentaries I was looking through this week, uh, thinking on the name of Jesus, which Jesus means Yahweh or Jehovah is salvation. Um, I wanted to look at the other names of Jesus as well. Um, that God with us. Emmanuel is one of the names for Jesus. But uh, in a commentary by James Boyce, he says this, Emmanuel, God with us, and to the very end of this age. At the beginning of the Gospel of Matthew, we find that Jesus is God with us by a supernatural conception in the womb of the Virgin Mary. But here at the end, he is still with us and will always be with us. And what a wonderful list of names we have for Jesus. And I wanted to just share these with you today. The Bible is full of them. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the Ancient of Days. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He is the Anointed One, the Messiah. He is our Prophet, Priest, and King. He is our Savior, the only wise God. He is our Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He is the Lord, the Almighty. He is the Door of the Sheep, the Good Shepherd, the Great Shepherd, the Chief Shepherd, the Shepherd and Bishop of our souls. He is a Lamb slain from before the foundation of the world. He is the Logos, the light, the light of the world, the light of life, the tree of life, the word of life, the bread that came down from heaven, the spring, which if a person drink of it, he will never thirst again. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. He is our rock, our bridegroom, our beloved, and our redeemer. He is the head over all things, which is his body, the church, but above all, he is God with us, Emmanuel, and he came from heaven to earth to save us from our sins. What an amazing list, our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
and Colossians 1. If I could end on this today, Colossians chapter 1 says this, speaking of Emmanuel, our Savior, Jesus Christ, God with us, Colossians 1 verses 9 to 14. And so from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and trans transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. What an amazing truth that all of our sins have been forgiven, past, present, and future. And God is making us into the likeness of Emmanuel, God with us. May you be encouraged this week as you search the scriptures, as you draw near to God, as God draws near to you. And may you be excited even for this coming Sunday, part three in our Christmas series, The Greatest Gift. Let me pray for you and then we'll end our time. Father, we love you. We thank you for Emmanuel, God with us. We thank you for the power that you give us to live a life, the power that comes from your Holy Spirit, our helper and our comforter. We thank you that you know what's best for us, Lord. We don't know what's best, but you do. We thank you for the joy that we have in Christ. We thank you that you have transferred us from darkness into your marvelous light to the kingdom of your Son. I pray that you would encourage and strengthen your church this week. Help us to be men and women of your word. Lord, remind us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. What can man even do to us, Lord? We thank you that you are with us even to the end of the age. Lord, may we rest in your promises this week and may you give us extreme joy as we draw near to our Savior King, Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Have a great week. We look forward to seeing you Sunday and enjoy this season.